Hi there, welcome to highschoolmaths.co.uk. Today we're going to be looking at the four basic operations and we're going to start off with a little bit of adding and subtracting. I'm just going to do one example of each which hopefully covers the basics and if you need to watch it again and again that's fine, just go for it. Okay, so the first question we have is 287 plus 1419. What we're going to do is we're going to lay that out just as a normal addition column sum. So we put 287 there. An important thing here is you line it up from the right hand side. So 1419, the 9 has to go, the final 9 has to go under the 7 so that the place value is exactly the same for each number here. So we've got our 1s, our 10s, our 100s, and our 1000s. Okay, and we're adding these together. Now you could put the bigger number at the top if you prefer, that's up to you. You don't have to do it that way for adding, so this will work fine. So 7 add 9 is 16. We're going to carry the 1, so sometimes you can carry it, some people carry it up here, I like to carry it underneath, but just make sure it goes in the correct column. Let's go into the tens column now. So 8 add 1 is 9, add on the remainder 1, uh, or the one we've carried is 10. So that's a 1, a 0, and carry the 1 over again. 2 add 4 is 6, add on 1 is 7. And in the final column, we've got a zero or a blank plus one, which is one. So 1,706 for our final answer there. Okay, so the second question is a subtraction. And it works exactly the same way, but we're just taking away those. There are a few differences, so we'll see that when we go through them. So three, two, eight, two. We're taking away two, seven, six, five. This time it is when you're subtracting order is important so you have to make sure the first number goes on the top line okay so what we're going to do is start at the end at the right hand column so two take away five now we can't do that so what we're going to do is we're going to move over to the next column and we're going to borrow from there we cross out the eight make that a seven we take the one that we borrowed here and move it across to the one column that gives us a 12 now. 12 take away 5 is something we can calculate. So 12 take away 5 is 7. Moving across, 7 take away 6 is 1. And just keep going until you've completed. 2 take away 7, we can't do. In this calculation, we move across, borrow from the 3, that becomes a 2, and bring that 1 across that we borrowed. 12 take away 7 is 5. And in the last column, we've got 2 take away 2, which is 0. Okay, so we've got 517 as our final answer there. On to multiplying. And we set it out pretty much the same way. Again, line up the multiplication on the right-hand side. And we're going to start from the right-hand side with the 1s. So 6 times 1 is 6. 6 times 5 is the next one. 6 times 5 is 30, so we put the 0 down and again we carry the 3. 6 times 5 is 24. Once we've done that, we have to add on the 3 to make 27. And that's all we're looking at. Now work for any multiplication. The only difficult thing is if the times table becomes more challenging, for instance the 7 or 8 times table, which some people find quite tricky. And lastly, dividing. And the way I like to do this is the kind of bus stop layout that I've heard pupils call it. So we've got 576 underneath the shelter and 6 on the outside. That's what we're dividing by. Now what we're going to do here is we've got to see how many 6's fit into 5. Well, that doesn't give us anything, zero. You can't fit any sixes in five because five is a smaller number. So we're going to take that five and we're going to carry it across to the next column. And the thing you'll notice about this is different from the rest, we're working the opposite direction. We're starting from the left here with dividing. Now we've got to see how many sixes go into 57. That's going to test your six times table. So how many six go into 57? That would be <coughs> six nines or 54. 6 tens are 60, so that's too much. So we're, all we can find is 6 nines. 
or nine sexes. That gave us 54, which means we've got a remainder of three left over to carry over to the next column. To finish off, how many sixes go into 36? And that would be six exactly. Now sometimes at the end you end up uh, you end up with a remainder there. We're not going to cover that today, but we'll look at that in another lesson. But that's your four basic operations, and that's different strategies of how you might set them out to do that kind of calculation. There's loads of other ways too, but those are just four different ways you can do adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. Hopefully you found that useful. For other maths videos and resources, please visit www.highschoolmaths.co.uk. If you liked the video, click that like button and subscribe. Please remember to share the video. Thanks for watching and have a mathematical day.